over the summer, one of the rarest species on this planet was recovered from this beach. It's a whale species so rare that until this century, we didn't know if it was modern or extinct. This find was only the sixth specimen ever confirmed. And while it was dead, it's the first specimen ever found in good enough condition to actually dissect and study. Five of the six confirmed sightings came from New Zealand, the other over off the coast of South America. This is one example of those, a skull without a mandible found on White Island in the 1950s. But in 2010, things changed in a big way, and that's when we realized these whales still existed. It's because two different ones ended up beached again in New Zealand. However, at the time they were identified as Gray's beaked whales and buried on the beach. By the time genetic analysis on the tissue revealed that these two specimens actually clustered together with those mysterious remains of that mysterious unknown spade-toothed whale, it was too late. Scientists went out, they dug them up, but one of the skulls was missing and they already weren't in great condition. You can find pictures of them online. The dissection on this new species has just been completed already. They have realized there's an interesting feature with these spade toothed whales, and that is vestigial teeth on the upper jaw. So we don't typically see those with this group of whales, but what vestigial means is, as a page that talks a lot about evolution, it's essentially leftover traits from previous ancestors. So you could expect in another few million years, that they may not have those teeth anymore. They may be on their way out, but for now, they have these vestigial teeth. 